color-coded lines on the floor and bumpy raised surface color-coded other sections as well. They're all part of innovations designed to help more people, especially passengers with disabilities, better navigate the subway system. Accessibility isn't only what the ADA defines it to be. We want to go beyond that. The Americans with Disabilities Act is what one of the MTA's top managers talks about as he leads a tour of changes unveiled at what the agency calls the Accessibility Lab. The rest of us call it J Street Metro Tech Station. But here now, for example, are those colored lines on the floor that help guide users, all users, to elevators and trains. And these are some of the free apps you can use to help navigate. Paul Schrader shows how one of them, Ira, connects visually impaired users through their smartphone to a seeing trained assistant who describes what's in front of the user. It's James E. Ford. Does that sound about right? Another change, the raised surface tactile map was publicly demonstrated, but Rich Jacobson used it. I can feel it, and I have a very small window in my eye, so I can see that there's a D, but I have to get about that close to see it. But his guide dog, Clyde, followed our instructions to another addition to the station, the talking map. But we pointed out that we had to tell him about it, not the MTA. They could have um, some sort of like pinging noise, like you do for some of the cross signals when you're walking across the street that lets you know that the button is there. And that actually is the tactile map that he was using. And by the way, he is actually on an advisory committee to the MTA and didn't know that there was that talking map. It's those kinds of suggestions that the MTA needs to hear, that it says it wants to hear, all of these innovations are preliminary. They'll be here temporarily for the next couple of months. At the end of a period where they hear, they get feedback from people, they'll make appropriate changes and then try them in other stations.